All right, everybody, welcome back. It is week number 13 of Grapevine CrossFit's 2024 programming. So this week, we're gonna start off with our March member of the month, Brian Vollmer. He was out for half the month, but now he's back, and we're gonna do his workout on Monday. We have four rounds, 18 toes to bar, 400 meter run, and then nine squat cleans, 155 and 105. All right, it's supposed to be more of a grind. I know most of us can't do 18 toes to bar unbroken, Plan out those sets. 400 meter run, that's gonna be a recovery, all right? Then we'll come in, hit the squat cleans, probably all gonna be singles for most of us. Then going right back into the toes to bar, it's probably gonna get a little bit grippy. So as we get into rounds three and four, make sure we're breaking it up, taking pauses when we have to. We'll get through it, we'll have some fun. We'll celebrate Brian and how awesome of a member he has been to the gym for the past however many years, way more than I've been here. On Tuesday, we're going to go a complex of front squats. We're going to go five sets. We'll go two pause front squats and then one regular front squat. So pause, pause, regular. All right. So learning how to drive out of the bottom and then trying to use that same stretch reflex on that last one. And ideally, we feel powerful on that last rep and not sluggish. All right. After that, we're going to sprint. So last week, we did a little bit longer of running intervals with the 400s. This week, we're going to go very short. We're gonna go six, sorry, we're gonna go eight sets of a 50 meter sprint. Don't worry, we're gonna take plenty of time to warm up. I don't want any of us pulling hamstrings or anything like that. It's the first time we sprinted, um, maybe ever for some of us. So take it nice and easy, warming up. We'll be careful. But by the end of it, I want us to give ourselves a nice hard effort and we're gonna get plenty of rest in here. So don't worry about being well rested. You'll be fine. Each, um, each rep, each set, should be one quality effort, all right? When it comes to Wednesday, we're gonna go barbell step up again. All right, so we have six reps each leg for four sets. Nothing terrible. After that, we're gonna do a Metcon I tested a few weeks back, a 10 minute AMRAP, two chest of bar pull-ups, and then two burpee box jump overs. And then every round you get through, you're gonna add another two reps. Very fun one, it's only 10 minutes long, but it gets very exhausting very quickly. On Thursday, every four minutes for five sets, so it's gonna be 20 minutes long, you're gonna do a 500 meter row, 12 GHG hip extensions, and then in the time you have left, we're gonna accumulate as much time as possible in that parallel L sit that we're all coming to know and love, all right? <laughs> On Friday, we'll hit shoulder care, and then we'll go to a workout that is based off of a games workout I think from 2017, I actually pulled it from one of Matt Taylor's old notebooks. So if you don't like it, you have two people you can blame besides me. All right, Dave Castro and Matt Taylor. We're gonna go two minutes on and one minute off. Five strict pull-ups and then 12 or nine cows on the assault bike. And then you'll do as many overhead squats as possible in those remaining two minutes. Your workout finishes when you accumulate 75 overhead squats. All right, we'll put a time cap on it, but your goal is to hit 75 overhead squats, ideally within five intervals, okay? Should be a fun one, I'm gonna test it this week. That way I can throw a time cap on it just for you guys. On Saturday, we're gonna hit a partner workout, six rounds with your partner. When you go 10 shuttle runs, it's gonna be a long shuttle run, so it's gonna be 100 foot total. So we're gonna go long ways across the gym. Then one partner will go and do 20 VFs. The other partner, we'll start our hand over hand sled pulls. All right, we all love these things, at least I do. Zach just bought them for us, we're gonna use them very frequently, okay? So the second partner who's doing the hand over hand sled pull probably won't be able to finish before the first partner finishes the 20 VFs. That's okay, that's the whole point. Once partner one finishes the VFs, they can come help on that a little bit heavier of a sled drag, all right? That is our week. It's pretty full, it's a lot of legs. Okay, if you notice, we have squatting, squatting, single leg work, get time off, and then we have more squatting here. Okay, so a lot of legs, but something a lot of us said after 24.3 is that, oh my goodness, my legs are so sore, my legs are so sore. So what that tells me is that we're not doing enough squatting volume to a point where you are acclimated to doing that amount of reps in a workout. So something we need to get better at, something I know I need to get better at, so we're gonna get better at it together. But 
Uh, if you guys have any questions, just let me know. This is week 13 program overview. I will see you all in the gym.